Hello everybody, welcome to Chin Fat. In this episode, I had a request from a user asking about adding a black video to your timeline. And a couple of reasons you might want to do that. Well, well first of all, say you're going to upload something to YouTube. If you're going to upload it to YouTube or Vimeo, uh, especially when you play back a video on YouTube, once you start the video, uh, you've got a bunch of these uh, icons still on the screen. So if you want people to just see your image when it starts and nothing else, it takes like a few seconds. If I play this, it starts, it takes a few seconds here. And boom, there it goes. It takes a couple seconds for all that to go away. And some websites even even have like a, a screen right in the middle. It will have some words right in the middle of the, the, the video here saying like press escape to get out of a full screen or whatever. And YouTube puts it at the top. They used to put it in the middle, but now they put it they used to put it in the middle, but now they put it right here at the top. So, so it is kind of common procedure to kind of add like a, at least a couple seconds of black. If you want to add like two or three seconds of black at the beginning of your video, that's kind of preferred. That way they can play the movie, they can move the mass out of the way, and then let everything disappear and then just enjoy the image rather than all the on-screen uh, overlays uh, that pop up on YouTube or Vimeo or whatever you're using. All right, so let's show you how to generate some black video at the beginning. So you're going to go down over to your project window here, and down in your project window, you've got this little new item icon right here. This uh, opens up new sequences, and it also is a uh, what will create new generators. And generators are items that are created within the software. It's not video that you've shot, but it uh, generates the video within the software. Things like black video, uh, bars and tone, color mat are all generated within Premiere. So I'm going to go to new black video. And if you have a timeline open, it's going to base it off of the timeline uh, set. It's going to base uh, the resolution and the frame rate off of the timeline settings. Here we have 1920 by 1080, and we have 23.976, so essentially 24 frames uh, frames per second to match the timeline settings. I'm going to hit OK, and then it generated this video down here. If you double click on that, it will load it into the source monitor. And this file is uh, is very very long. It generates it for oh geez, let's take a look. Let's zoom out all the way on this video here take our playhead to the end and this is like nearly 12 hours long so it's 12 hours long of black video but we don't need that much we want, don't want to generate uh, black video that long and I'm hitting plus here to zoom up on my uh, on my timeline here you can see that kind of zooming up I'm hitting plus 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 if you hit minus 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 it zooms out but I'm going to zoom up here or you can just grab this thing and zoom out all the way or zoom in all the way say we want to create a pre-roll of uh, maybe three seconds of black video here the way you do this is you can uh, you can grab your playhead and you can just drag it over uh, to three seconds and kind of get it on the time that you want here, right there. Oh, there we go, right there. Uh, but what I kind of like to do is if I'm at the beginning of the video on my numpad, this does not work. This does not work on the top of your keypad. This works on your numpad over to the right side of your keyboard. Uh, you can just type in the, immediately start typing in the uh, number where you want it to to land, and I'm going to type. I'm going to type the. I'm going to type the number three, and you see it starts entering the value right here, three, and you can do zero zero, which is uh, your frames basically. So that's three seconds and zero zero frames. If you wanted to go three minutes into this, uh, you would go three zero 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 zero, and that is three seconds, or sorry, that is three minutes zero seconds and zero zero frames. And the shortcut for that is actually period. If you just hit three, period, the period is a placeholder for two zeros. So if I did two periods, it would be three zero 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 zero, which would be three minutes, zero seconds, zero frames for the two, two zeros. But I'm going to arrow back, or I'm going to escape out of that, and I'm just going to hit three, period, enter, the enter on the, on the numpad. Everything, this is all in the numpad here, enter, and it will jump to three seconds exactly, which is really nice and convenient. If you want to go to one second, type in one, period, enter, two, period, enter, and it jumps to two seconds and zero frames. Uh, but we're going to do three seconds here and hit enter. I'm going to hit O for out point. And I've got, an, I've got an in point and out point on that now. It already had, when you open up the black, it'll have an in point. It has an out point at like uh, 4 seconds and 23 frames or whatever frame rate you're using. It'll be one frame uh, before it hits uh, 5 seconds. So if you're shooting, if you've got 30 frames per second, it will be, it'll be at 4 seconds and 29 frames. Now the reason why it does that is because it, want, it assumes that you want picture to start at, uh, at the exact five second mark. In this instance, I'm just going to do three seconds exactly. You can do, two, you, you can do two 
and then uh, 23 frames or 29 frames, depending on what your frame rate is. I just like to do even um, uh, three seconds. It just depends on if you're doing broadcast or not. Broadcast requires you to start on uh, one hour. So that's if you've got a, a timeline, the, it has to your movie your 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 first frame of image has to start on exactly one hour. And that's one instance where you'd want black videos to start where you'd want the black video to, to end at like say two seconds and 23 frames. All right, so now that I've got the endpoint and outpoint there, I'm going to jump to my timeline. Right now, I am still working within my source monitor, as you see here. It's all highlighted. I'm going to hit Shift 3 and jump to my timeline, or you can just click your mouse in there. Let's say your playhead is somewhere in the middle of the screen. Uh, what you can do is just hit Home, the Home key on your keyboard, and it will jump to the beginning of your timeline. Now, I recommend if you need a fade in, you add a fade in before you add the black. It'll uh, it'll make things less complicated. So if I don't have a, a, a fade in there and I want to fade in, right here I'm at the beginning, I can hit, I'm on a Mac right now, so it's Command D, as in dissolve. On a PC, it would be Control D, and it will add that fade in at the beginning of the video. Now my video will fade in. So I'm going to hit Home to get to the beginning. And with this endpoint and out point, I'm going to hit Comma. Comma is an insert edit. If you hit period, period will overwrite the video that's in front of it. That is an overwrite. That's why they call it an overwrite. Uh, the period is an overwrite. I'm going to undo that, and I'm going to do comma, which is an insert, and it will shove everything down on the timeline, and it will insert my black. So now I've got, let's hit home and watch this. It plays through three seconds of black, and a nice fade in to our video there. All right, let's say we want to add black at the at the ending too, so immediately it doesn't start popping up your, the ads and all the other links at the end of YouTube. I'm going to hit end on my keyboard. It will jump to the end, and I'm going to add three seconds of black at the end here. This is at the end. Instead of at the end of the video, let's go to my video here, and I'm going to do the same thing. By the way, if you hit Command-D and it's not working, or Control-D and it's not working, you have to do Control. You have to do command shift a, that will deselect everything on your timeline, or Control-Shift-A on a uh, PC, and then you do Command or Control-D to add a cross-dissolve on your video there, and now this will fade out. There you go, and it fades out. So I'm going to hit end, go to the end, and now that I've already have this video loaded, and I have three seconds already there, I can just hit either period for over right now because there's no video in the way, or comma for insert because there's no video in the way, so it doesn't matter. You can either hit period or comma at the end and it adds the black video at the end. If you want it now, right here, it's kind of over the audio extends past the video. So if you want to, you could drag this over and then your audio fades out. I don't have my audio on, so you can't hear it, but it'll fade out and then the black video runs for a couple seconds. Uh, otherwise, you can just put it there and then when it finishes, it'll fade out, the music will fade out and black video for three seconds and your movie's done. That is how you would add the black video to your project. Just one other thing here. If you're trying to kind of navigate your timeline like I was hitting home and end, and right here I'm looking at my entire video. I was using as a shortcut on my keyboard to zoom up to a video, to zoom up to your video. I was hitting plus, 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 plus on the top of the keyboard, not on the numpad now, on the top of the keyboard next to the numbers at the top, and minus, minus, minus zooms out, plus, and then if you want to see your entire timeline, you hit the backward slash above the return or enter key, and it will show your entire timeline. Well, that's it for this simple video. If you have any questions, please post them. And thanks for watching. Chin Fat Out.